bike care with Broken Fisher. And I'm out in a simulator, and I love to play with my simulator, especially since I added putting to the Garmin and the GS Pro. It is so much fun, but I hate orange balls or red balls or pink balls, and I'm going to putt with white balls. And the way you got to do that is you got to make some real fine adjustments. But if you don't get your adjustments just right, what will happen is when you lay your putter down, it will pick up your putter and go boom, 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 back and forth from the ball to the putter. And it won't read because it's crazy, just like it is if you waggle your club. Okay, kind of the same thing. So I've got mine set up. You see it working right there. You see that? And you see the ball? And I'm just going to tap one one-handed here. Ready? It's going to get a little... Roll right onto the green. See that? Okay, so I ain't going to worry about your speed right now. It's close, but I haven't adjusted. So now, I'm going to take you in and show you how you can get a white ball to work in your machine. Let's get that. That's a dirty one. Let's get a clean one. It don't really matter. It'll do clean ones or dirty ones when you get white set. So put the ball in the box. And we're going to set the putter right behind it like this, okay? Just like that. Got the putter set right behind it. So we're going to go from there. Let's go check it out. You ready? Too bright, it won't work. And if it's not enough exposure, well, it won't see that ball as it leaves because it has to read the ball, guys. You know what? Let me move the camera. Now that I've showed you this, I'm going to move this ladder. When you put this ball, it's going to read here and here and here a few times along the way. So, look up here on this screen, and you're going to see the red dots where it's reading that ball as it goes across there, okay? Now, this is a brand new white ball, and I just brought a brand new one over here to show you, okay? You ready? Got it lined up, and you see the screen on the big screen here. Now, that's the... I brought up the mask so I can see my full picture of what it looks like. Now, when I put my putter behind it, it's still there, but I'm masking it out enough in my mask to where it doesn't bother it and it can get in the way. Okay, so quick little one hand putt just to roll one up there. Okay, and I'm gonna put another ball here. Now, this is a uh, Srixon and it locked right on. See, put the putter in, no problem. Got to read. Now, let's do this. Let's take one of these ugly, dirty balls here. I got a dirty ball that's been hit on a bunch of times. Look at that. Locked on. Look at that. Putter's still there. And there, and got to read. I'm going to give you the settings that I use, and you will probably have to tweak them just a little bit to get them what you want. But understand that you got to have light for the putt to read, and you can't have too much light or it's going to blow out. And when it comes to getting your putter, where it's not picking up your putter on a white ball, because I think most people with a white ball, the problem they have is, well, I got this, this Odyssey with the big old head on it here, and I mean, you put it down, and it almost looks like a ball. It'll confuse a crack. It'll confuse it terrible. Let's put the ladder back, okay? So I'm going to show you where you get your final cut to make this happen, okay? And you see my putter? Putter's there. I'm not going to change very much, but let me show you what's going to happen here. Now, you can see on the touch screen, I have the very same picture as I have on that screen. But over here on this little screen at my computer, well, I've got a little something different. When you're going to do anything in this program that you want to adjust, you go into the putting window, and in the middle of that window, tap it. And then hit the A key. It's going to bring up those two screens. Now, this is your camera controls, and this is the the advanced controls that moves around the boxes and stuff on the screen and makes adjustments for frame rate and darkness and all that, okay? So there's the way that works. Now, let's go back here. We're going to go back to the box one more time. We're going to go into the center of it, and we're going to go down here on the keyboard, and we're going to tap D. Now, that's going to bring up the raw picture from my camera. You see it? And then it's going to bring up a mask here, and the adjustments for the mask. And that'll adjust your hue, your saturation, the value. Now, what you see on my screen is I've got this little remnant. Now, okay, if y'all can see right on the... Let me, let me zoom in here. Guys, you have to have enough brightness in your picture to where the ball will pick up as it travels down this line, okay? So you see the ball, you see my clubs kind of just kind of fluttering in the background there? On the picture, well, let's move the mask over here right quick. 
as you can see on this picture, that ball and that club is nice and bright. You see how, see how bright it is? Now, that, that's there, but the problem is if you adjust it wrong, what will happen is it will start jumping back and forth, back and forth. So this is what happens. you got the setting here that can ring up. Look, you bring out your solid white ball, the biggest white ball as you can get on your screen. You want the ball not to be hot, and you want it solid. And then you want to go here and you want to bring it here. So all of my settings are all the way wide open on the max over here. Okay? Now, I'm using this to take this putter right here and see how the putter's coming back in the picture. And once it gets in there real strong, what it'll do is it'll make this thing go crazy. So we're going to turn that, we're going to bring that down. We're going to tune that putter out of the picture, okay? But we still got the ball. So if you look on this mask right here, this is the mask. After this is, takes effect, this is what you end up with, guys. And look at this. I barely got the putter in the picture now. So when I move this thing, the putter will be there, but it shouldn't interfere with the way the putt rolls, and the putt should roll out fine. So, But this is on, on a white ball. I'm maxing these out, and I'm using these to bring, take out the golf club that is causing me interference, okay? And then the rest of it is, let me get these out of the way for you. So that one's done. We don't need that anymore. So it can, well, it's not going to do that. It wants to go. Okay, we'll put it up there. Okay. Now, these boxes right here are the ones you control the screen with. So let's go up there and do that right quick. So what we have is we've adjusted our mask. We've adjusted this mask using this box here to get a good round pretty ball. And if our club's laying behind it, to tune the club out so it's not interfering. Okay. I hope y'all got that understood. And then on the camera, I just basically leave it alone. I've got it's a zoom camera. I've got it set where I want it. And I leave it, and it's just programmed, and you don't have to do anything with it. Now, this screen here, this is the one I'm going to bring up and show you right quick. Okay, guys. Now, let me show you exactly how this all works. We got it tuned in, and this box right here moves. This line moves the back of your box. This one here moves the front of your box. This here goes to the top side and brings it down a little bit. This one here, take it down that way a little bit, okay? So you can see where my mat is right here. This is my hitting mat, and this is my putt area I put off of. So we're going to let the putter sit right there. we got that tuned in. Now radius, radius changes, radius changes how fast your ball rolls. So you want to use that to change it. I've got a 15. When I had it set up in the other building, I was a 9. So it does change. If your image is going, if you putt and it goes backwards, use the flip image. Uh, flip video, one of those. MPEG-1 is what I found, and I'm using a 60 frame per second camera here. And then my darkness is set at 23, and you can adjust that, and it'll make big differences in the way everything works here. But if you get too dark, it'll do a great job picking up the ball. But it won't pick up the putt when it leaves here, because it won't have any pictures of the putt. So let's go back, uh, what was it, about 19 or something like that? Maybe let's see. Now let's walk up here and grab the putter and see if the ball rolls when we hit it. I'm just going to step in behind. Lay my putter down. Is it going to pick? Is it, see, it's dancing. It's picking up the putter. See that? i got to make an adjustment to get that to stop. Now, y'all got to see what it's doing? Let's get that out of there. Now, when that starts doing that, we're going to take this and move it out of the way. I'm going to take the Hue Max and bring this up here. I'm working with two screens, so I, sometimes I have to move around. Okay, guys, let me show you what's going on. You see the ball and this club right here in this picture? Now, it's not jumping back and forth now. It's locked onto the ball, but the putter's sitting there. Now, if I turn this hue down just a smidge, it's going to start jumping back and forth. See that? It's picking up my putter. It's picking up the ball. We don't want the ball. So let's move forward a little bit and get it where it takes the ball, out just the ball. And you see this picture here? I just got that breakup going there. That's the reason it's not picking that up. This is solid. This is broke up, so it won't pick up the broke up part. You can turn it up a little more if you want to. Take a little more of it out, and then down here, 
and the valve minimum and the valve max, you can take a little out with that sometimes, like that. See? I like to leave the ball as big as I can get it, but not have it jump in between these two. Now, and we got light going this direction. Y'all see the light going here? So it should pick this putt up with no problem. So let's give it a shot and see if it picks up. You ready? We're going to come up here and wiggle the club around. Ready? You got the club. I'm going to move it around the ball and see if it acts up and causes any problems. Makes it go crazy or jump. See, it's not jumping off or anything. It's staying. Now, we'll just line up. Putt goes. Okay. Y'all seen the yellow line? That's because I whacked it sideways. Those red dots that came across there are the, are the ball reads. So we're getting good ball reads when we hit the ball now, but we're not picking up this putter. Okay, guys. Now, that's the way you set up your webcam putting and how you do the adjustments. My settings are right there for you to see exactly how I'm going about it. Now, like I got to have a white ball. I can't put orange balls. Can't do it. I had to adjust to get me white balls, and I found the settings that will do that. Y'all see the settings I'm using here. Y'all can see the ball there. Let's see if the putter acts up when we put it in. Nope, no putter act up. It's not jumping. Just give it a little tap. Got a read. So that's what you do to make it work. Now, the last step, when you get done getting all this figured out, you do this. You take your old mouse and you go right up here and that picture has got all those, those frames in it with all that stuff right there. See that? Go there and put Q. Now, that will take everything you just done and lock it into the memory and save it into a configuration file. So when it comes back up, it should be ready to go. So let's roll the putter, let's roll the ball in here and see what happens. Ready? Just roll the ball right in there like that. It's gonna pick up. We're gonna put our putter in. It doesn't give us any interference. And our little putt rolls right into it. Okay, guys. Now, that's the settings you need to get a putter and a white ball to work in your simulator. Because like I say, I can't do the orange balls or red or anything. I like I gotta put white. So I play white, I'm gonna put my white. So we're gonna stay that way. And there's fine tuning to get it there, but if you do a little work, you can get it, okay? So yeah, guys, I use the Garmin R10, I use GS Pro. I don't use any other game software at all. I play through my computer, which is a Lenovo uh, Legion 5 uh, laptop. It's got a 2060 graphic card, and that's in Ultra. And I've got it upscaled to 4K with that little projector up there because it'll upscale. So I took the 1080 and upscaled, to send an upscale signal to it to get all I can get out of it. So, And I've done a custom resolution to fit this screen, so I can show you how I do that one day for the same year, too. So guys, take it easy, and if you got any questions about anything, get in touch and let me know. I'd like to hope that after two years, I know a little bit about the Garmin and how it works and the things that cause it to go crazy. And uh, maybe we can get you some good numbers if you got some questions. I'll help you out with that. Any questions about how to build or something you want to do or something you've seen sitting around here or whatever, just get, let me know, okay? Y'all take care of yourselves and uh, be good. And as you can see, just put the ball on the spot and it locks in move around and it don't mess nothing up and then when I get up here I just get that foot. So that's the way it works. Y'all take care of yourselves and be good. Uh, yeah, I'm back to putting my stuff on the frugal fixer channel. I'm at 970 something subs on the thing. Let's finish it up this week. Okay. I need help. Let's go guys.